Yes, welcome once again to Dog Turds Into Diamonds. Here we are with AFC Rushton and Diamonds and we are ready for the FA Cup first round. We are away at League One Leighton Orient, which could be a winnable game. They are 20th in League One right now. Uh, they are in danger of dropping into the relegation zone there. And I think that all bodes well for us. Um, you can see here they are only out of the relegation zone on goal difference. So whilst we are really struggling in League 2, they are not really going any better in League 1. So there could be an upset there, perhaps. Um, yeah, we have not really been doing much better since you were last here. We have picked up a few draws, but just the one win since the last time we were here and um, yeah we really need to find some results soon but I've got to tell you I've kind of been enjoying it we've been really making a go of it we've been battling out pretty much every game and uh, we've played a fair bit of football since you were last here and the first thing you're probably going to notice there is the FA Cup fourth qualifying round where we beat Gloucester absolutely fantastic to get one over on Gloucester after so many defeats against them I think that's the first time we've beaten them in six attempts and we played them off the pub I will come to that in a second after you were last here uh, we drew 1-1 away at Gillingham a half decent performance but we weren't the better team we went ahead early through Joshua Duffus and they then pegged us back in the 21st minute. We, uh, we had to kind of hold on after that. They did have a 1.53 XG. We had only a 0.87. We weren't good enough for the win, but it was nice to get a draw against a decent side. That, of course, after we lost 4-1 at home to Stevenage in the last Livecom game when, uh, yeah, I, I had a bit of a disaster with a formation change, didn't I? We then went away to Doncaster. Really disappointing performance, this one. Just the one shot on target for us the whole game. We really are struggling for goals. But here, it was kind of the game that was the nail in the coffin for Thomas Hughes. Thomas Hughes, our Rushton and Diamonds legend. He's now on the loan list. He'd like to go out on loan. I'm not going to stand in his way. He's just not good enough for League 2. It's a real shame. I did offer him a new contract in the summer. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. It was uh, I, it, it was a little bit of uh, it was a little bit of a loyalty a loyalty loyalty decision. I think we'd have to say, yeah, he's not got it to be in League 2 as he poor old Thomas Hughes. Um, but hopefully someone will come in on loan. He's had a couple of offers from the Vanarama National League. So I think he'll be moving on loan pretty soon. Uh, Liam Walsh has turned out to be a little bit of a disaster since his big signing. You remember, I mean, this was my huge punt. One, 1,200 a week we pay him. 10% of our wage budget. And he's really not done it so far. Um, yeah. Yeah. That might go down as possibly my worst signing of this save so far, depending on whether he can kind of turn things around. We'll have to wait and see. Um, Pablo Martinez at the back was a disaster this game, as was uh, our friend Sheringham at left back. And uh, yeah, we then took on Fleetwood at home, got a really good draw here. But it should have been a win. Fleetwood are struggling in the league. You can see we had a 2.04 XG. 29 shots at goal. 10 on target. We still could not get the win. We did have a new signing. Glenn Sanny. Who I will introduce you to very shortly. Playing up front. He had a decent game. Um, yeah, we were good at the back. Martinez and Watkins looked a great central defense. Uh, the central defensive partnership as I struggled to get my words out Walsh actually played well in this game in midfield with Malicio, who uh, 
who uh, scored his first Russian and Diamonds goal. Uh, the young 18-year-old has come into the team and uh, has been one of our better performers. Two assists, one goal, coming along very nicely, the 18-year-old. Still needs to develop to really reach this level, but I've got high hopes for him. He's doing very well at the moment. And he's been one of the players that has kind of shown up this season, of which there have not been many. Yeah, we then went away to Gloucester in the FA Cup. When we were drawn in this game, they were top of the Vanarama National League. I thought this was an absolute disaster in the making. I thought we may have been going out of the FA Cup early again. With all our struggles, I did not see this performance come in. Let's have a look at these goals. Because it was our best performance and best win of the season, no doubt about it. Um, you can see there we had uh, Glenn Sani playing alongside Price up front. And uh, the pair of them seemed to do a very, very good job of running the line or leading the line. And uh, yeah, it all started early in the game when James Price got in on a wonderful through ball from Schofield. 1-0 up, but we were pegged back straight away. We really struggled to defend a goal lead. 1-1, I feared the worst. But from there, do you know what? We took control of this game. Lamine Sharif crossing for Joshua Duffus, who has earned his place back in the starting eleven. The man I was trying to sell in the summer. Pablo Martinez with a superb free kick. Got us 3-1 up at the break before Malicio set up Bailey Ty Kadamatri. Some brilliant goals, a wonderful performance. And after this, I really thought our season might be turning around. But it didn't last long because then in the league, we went away to Sutton. And as you can see, we were 1-1 in the game when Sheringham was sent off in the 39th minute. Yeah, we conceded in the 66th, 2-1 down. We actually, we still played better than Sutton, even with 10 men. Couldn't get the chance to score. Um, didn't really create many highlights. And um, yeah, another defeat. We continue to struggle in the league. Uh, we went away to Chesterfield after this. And uh, amazingly, Chesterfield who were flying high in the league, we played them off the park. James Price, the winner in the 94th minute, set up by Igor Luis, the England under-19 international. Wonderful, wonderful performance and a deserved win, even if it was so late. And um, yeah, again, I thought we were turning things around at this point. Until we played Carlisle at home. Uh, we lost 2-1 here. Um, Igor Luiz gave away a penalty and was sent off in the 87th minute. Allowing Butterworth to win it for them in the 88th. We were the better team here. Again, we've been playing really well. But as we've said since the start of the season, when we play to get stuck in. When we play with the get stuck in instruction, we pick up so many cards and the red cards have just been flowing and it has cost us a huge number of points. Um, in this game, Armitage was poor at left back, but um, yeah, really we should have done better than that. And it was a similar story at home against Morecambe straight after. We had 25 shots at goal, a 2.44 XG, and lost 3-1. Our new signing, Glenn Sani, did get a goal here, which was very nice. I will introduce you to him in just a moment. But yeah, we were porous at the back. We conceded those three goals. Really disappointing to have yet another defeat. And we then followed that up with a 1-1 draw at Rochdale. We were probably lucky to get a draw here. They were the better team. But I am not going to complain. We've had some good away performances this season. I just wish we could put something together at home. Because we've, we have been picking a few points up away. 
And in this game here, although Hodgin, Price and Mikhail were absolutely awful as the front three, um, I forgot to mention that. We have switched back to playing two wingers. Um, yeah, we've also switched to playing with the defensive midfielder. We no longer have a number 10. Um, I felt we needed that to kind of shore things up at the back. It seems to have worked somewhat. And um, yeah, here we had a decent performance. We had to make a lot of changes with tired players. Cole and Cartwright played at the back. Um, yeah, we, we, it wasn't our best game of the season, let's just say that. But we got a draw. Glenn Sani came off the bench. And uh, yeah, look at Glenn Sani. He looks great, doesn't he? He's just been released by Hull at the end of last season. He's played a lot of football in League One. He's scored a couple of goals there. Um, he's got decent experience. and He's only 23. I do think Glenn Sani can really establish himself as a top League Two striker. And he could be the man to save us from the predicament we're in. He's got two in four starts and an assist. 12 finishing. He's six foot tall with 11 heading and 14 jumping reach. But the really attractive thing for me was his 13 acceleration and 13 pace. That is absolutely why I brought him in. We need more pace in the team. Glenn Sani gives it to us. And uh, he scored in his last two games. Hopefully, he is going to do very, very well for us. And um, yeah, that brings us up to date. That means that we are 23rd in League 2. We are still struggling. We are... Just a point clear of our, our local rivals, North, Northampton Town. We, of course, share their stadium. We rent their stadium from, uh, from them but until we get our new stadium at the end of this season. So it's going to be a major grudge match, and even more so because we're the bottom two teams in the league. We need a win to get ourselves above Walsall, hopefully. And, um, well, we are going to be taking on... Northampton in just a couple of games time after we've played through this game I think we are playing Doncaster at home after the FA Cup and we will then play at home against Northampton two really important games we have got to start getting some wins to stay in touch fortunately Walsall, Sutton, Harrogate and even Port Vale and Ebbsfleet have not been very good this season and it means we are still in touch despite only having two wins all season. But um, yeah, that is to come. Uh, so let's get into this game against Leighton Orient. We are playing Leighton Orient away. If we take a quick look, I do think we got a good chance. And uh, above all, because look, they play an extremely defensive formation. A three, uh, a th well, kind of a five, one, two, two. It's a really defensive formation, uh, three centre-backs and a defensive midfielder. Um, they've got some decent players. Players like Hagel up front, from what we can see, looks really good. Really good finishing and first touch. Decent off the ball and very good composure. He's got some pace as well. Um, he looks like he'll be a threat. And they are very, very strong at the back. The James Murphy is suspended which is, uh, well, probably not that bad because he doesn't look great, does he? But um, I know looking through their team previously, um, yeah, I think they've actually rested a lot of players before this game because some of these guys are not their first choice players. Max Melbourne is, though. He looks a really good centre-back. So um, we'll have our, our work out getting around him. But I think just the fact that they do play so defensively could really play into our hands. I think there's a chance of an upset here and hopefully we can put ourselves once again into the second round of the FA Cup. It's suggesting we play a balanced uh, mentality, but I'm not going to do that. Now, this is the team I'm starting with. Tommy reading goal, Eagle Louise on the right, Armitage on the left. Armitage has been really poor I could put Sheringham there at left back, but they've both been as bad as each other this season, really. I really need James Sheringham 
to come up with a big performance. He's not doing well. He is losing uh, ability, which is strange because he is now on a full-time contract. And £875 a week. I've put a lot of faith in him. Physically, he's superb. Mentally, he's excellent. Technically, a little bit limited. And um, I might be needing to make some changes if he can't step it up soon. Melissio will keep his place in midfield along with Agyapong, who has won his place back. They've both been performing fairly well. You can see Agyapong improving in training, the 20-year-old. I'm hoping that can continue. Joe Evans is back in the team, playing as an advanced playmaker on the right. Now that we don't play with the number 10, the playmaking duties come from Evans down that side of the pitch. Uh, Joshua Duffers with his pace on the left. And Glenn Sanny has to start. He is the form man right now. And James Price, despite being uh, a, a really legendary player the last few seasons, he has got to find some form pretty quick. He's on the bench along with Cartwright, Lamine Sharif, who's not really fit. Do I want to put someone else in on the bench? Um, we've got Dowling, who is another right back option. Um, yeah. Joseph Cole cannot play today because Leighton Orient is his uh, parent club. I'm going to bring... No, do you know what? I'm going to bring Lamine Sharif. I'm, I'm going to keep Lamine Sharif in because it's a big game. Liam Walsh is on the bench. He has really got to step it up. Mikhail is an option as a number 10 or as the right winger. Fran Hodging can play as a striker or as on the left. Mark Scully is another striker option. Scully is on the bench because Bailey Ty Kadamatri is injured. He's out for another nine days. And Taylor Dover, the sub left back, is the other injured player in the squad. Um, Shea Marsh, I think, is going to go out on loan. Schofield, I would love to start giving some more games to. 13 passing and 15 vision at our level could be hugely important. And with his 16 first touch to set up his passing... Um, yeah, I've got to find a way to get him in the team soon. Um, yeah, I think I need his creativity, but I'm not going to do it today. Um, Gavin Schofield not involved. Let's see what we can do here. Let's submit that team. I really have a feeling that we could cause an upset here. Leighton Orient are not going well in the league. Our morale is kind of... We've been managing to keep our morale up despite the poor results. Because we were expected to struggle, the, the, the players have kind of been reacting okay. Um, I, think, I think if things go our way here, I do think we can, uh, I do think we can get a, a result. Let's um, see how the players react to the team talk. And what I'm going to do tactically is the majority of the players respond well. Tactically, I think uh, I am not going to bother putting marking duties on Duffus or Evans because they're playing with wing backs. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to play with a lot of width, play out of defence onto the wings. And in transition, I'm going to play to the full backs because they should be sort of fairly open and free. You can see I'm not getting stuck in. We've just had too many red cards. But what I am going to do actually is play with a, a, a very narrow defensive width. Because I think with their formation they are going to be playing through the middle. Hopefully we can get a tactical advantage here. It doesn't look like a big crowd. So we would need to get into the second round to really... Make some money out of the FA Cup this season. Or even taking them to a replay would be nice. They get the first shot of the game, but no highlights so far. We've had the lion's share of the possession. And so far, so good. We've had more shots. They are getting a bit more possession now, but they're not doing anything with it. And here we get the first highlight. We have possession of the ball we're just playing it around at the back to start. A nice patient build-up. 
Evans onto Sani, and as Sani just hit the bar, that must have gone behind. It did go behind, it didn't even hit the target. Let's encourage the players as we get another highlight here, starting with a throw. Sani heading down, it comes back to him, crossed over to the back post, but it's a poor cross for Duffus. Armitage gets it in, and Sani heads over. He's had two good chances now, Sani. And he hasn't managed to hit the target. Another highlight. And it's Evans in that playmaker role on the right. Looking for Sani, but it's been lost. Sani didn't even compete for it. We get it back, though. Duffus loses it. Agipong picks it up again. Callum Armitage finds Duffus. And it's into Sani again, and this time it hits the post and goes wide. And Sani with his 14 jumping reach, 11 heading. We maybe expect more of him there. Agipong with a corner. Headed out, back to Agipong. Can we get a decent cross in? Eagle Louise finds Duffus who hits the post. We've hit both posts, and we really should be up in this game. A good first half performance. Um, let's tell the players we're pleased that we're controlling the possession. 61% possession. We're doing all right. Can we step this up a little bit now? We've had some good chances, but only two shots on target. We really need to finish one of these chances off. They have now had more shots on target than us, but much, much lower XG. And we get another corner. Agapong Martinez now hits the post. Oh my goodness, we've hit the woodwork three times. What changes should we make here? Duffus has been booked and he's pretty tired. We've got 15 minutes to go here. Let's get Joshua Duffus off and Fran Hodgin on. See what Hodgin can do. And I'm going to take Armitage off. And I'm going to bring Liam Walsh in and move Sheringham to left back. I'm going to make Liam Walsh a deep line playmaker on defend in that defensive midfield role. Um, see if he can spray the ball around, collect the ball off the defenders and then get Evans maybe involved in the play. Let's see if those two subs can perhaps help us get a good hold on this game. I'm guessing if it goes to a replay, we are going to be playing in three or four days' time. I'm going to demand more from the players. And it looks like we could be looking at a replay here, which it could be good for the bank balance at the very least. It's going to finish nil-nil, which is a rare... A rare clean sheet for us. I'm actually really pleased with that. To get a clean sheet, 17 shots at goal. That's a really good performance against the League One team. That's really positive. We've got to take some of these chances. We are just really struggling to take the chances that we create. Maybe I could have bought James Price on to try and get us the goal in that game but well I guess um, I am going to come back for the replay I do maybe we'll do the replay in part two as a double header and the very next episode will actually be the Northampton game and um, yeah even though it's only three games apart we will do the Northampton game as a separate episode and today now becomes a double header so click on the link for part two to watch our FA Cup first round replay at home against Leighton Orient and let's see if we can progress to the second round of the competition click on that link and we'll see you very very shortly